S C U. You are now listening to Shattercast Uncut. Prepare to be shattered with your host, Matt Baldwin, Skullface, Greg for Mercy, Oscar NJ Boy, T2 RX6, Mega 8 1. Welcome to Shattercast. What's up, everybody? Welcome, everyone, nerds, trolls, losers, maybe even a few winners, and of course, my favorite, Internet Soldiers! Shattercast hey. episode number eight. Uh, tonight we have Mr. Oscar. Hey, how's it going? Pimpin' Pimpin' Megs, a.k.a. Antoine. What's going on? What's going on? We got uh, T2RX6. What's up as usual? Mr. Deluxe, a.k.a. Matthew. Yeah, how y'all doing? And <laughs> my personal love muffin, the Greg for Mercy. I'm a pretty princess. <laughs> <laughs> um, tonight's a little light on news, but we got a, a pretty good discussion topic that almost uh, broke up the podcast a little earlier this week um, through us yes. e- e- e-beefing with one another, um, all, in, all in good fun. Uh, but without further ado, uh, well, you know, let's ask, anybody get anything this week? <laughs> yeah, I got something from Greg, the, uh, the Dreadwing, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it. Yeah, the wrong comic. Yeah, the wrong comic. Can't trust that motherfucker to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> he sent him like the Starscream one, the Armada Starscream. No, the Minicons. Yeah, he sent him the <laughs> No, I didn't send him. I didn't send him the Minicons. I don't hate him that much. Oh, <laughs> oh you mean the comic? Oh, yeah, the comic. Oh, 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 oh. Send him the Minicons. I'll get it. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, he sent him the Megatron comic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. No problem. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Justin, did you get anything, buddy? I did. I got. Uh, what did I get? I got a Skybite because why not? <clears throat> I got him for like ten bucks. I got a awesome uh, custom tidal wave that is actually all articulated, so that's pretty cool by uh, Long Haul Creations. And uh, the biggest thing was the uh, Armageddon add-on set by Make Toys showed up completely unexpected yesterday. Nice. And uh, yeah, subsequently some videos have been filmed and some uh, lack of attention was paid when I was uh, trying to figure it out. I'm just going <laughs> to throw that out there. <laughs> Gregory? Oh... Um, I got this awesome figure from Hasbro called the uh, Goldfire uh, Bumblebee. <laughs> and where did you um, stumble across that jewel? Well, I was at the store and <laughs> there wasn't anything else, and I had some money burning, on the burning a hole in my PayPal account. <laughs> I'll grab my boobies as we speak. <laughs> Don't off. And, yeah, um, I'm taking it back. I mean, it's a train wreck. Not only did it break on me, but the fucking legs are like, it's like dancing around a fucking ventriloquist dummy. Like, they're just kicking every which way. It's just horrible. Anyway, yeah, fail. Oscar, did you pick up anything this week, sir? I did. I got a Scourge from a trade I did with Mr. Deluxe, which is a really sweet figure. He was the first guy that got me back into classics a few years ago. Um, I also got a knockoff set of the Fans Project Aerial Appendage add-on set that they made. And uh, talk about balls on this knockoff package on the back. It has word-for-word word verbatim. The same thing written on the original packaging with fansproject.com <laughs> written on the box. That is balls. <laughs> so, big balls on them. But so it's a little uh, copy-paste action. Yep, yeah, pretty much. And uh, I'm not going to lie, For I paid maybe, I believe, a little over 40 for this set altogether from AliExpress. And it it's it made my Energon Superion not suck. But he's still tiny. My Minasaur destroys his ass. I got some repro label sets that I slapped on the Chrome Dome and Skids, and they look amazing now. I saw that. I saw that actually. Oh, actually, yeah, I, I nice. wanted to, I wanted to ask you, um, huh. and not to derail too much, but with your Chrome Dome, do you have any issues with the paint or the uh, the the ink not sticking to the uh, the actual like uh, stock? Uh, no. Not at all whatsoever. Um, I just, my process with them has always been when I apply the sticker in place, I get a Q-tip and I just massage the shit out of it and I never really have any issues afterwards. 
No, I'm talking about pulling it off of the... Uh, no, not even that. Oh, well, maybe That's... it just got a special set. Yeah. I was actually talking with a designer about it. Um, you, you got Bolt Matrixed. That's my new thing now. When you get something <laughs> bad happens to you, like Justin and his shitty Hasbro figures, you've been Bolt Matrixed. But yeah, I got that. I got um, I got a Skywarp, and uh, he has two right wings. Oh, I saw that. And, oh, that was you. I thought that was going to be... I thought it was going to be oh, that. Yeah, he's got two right wings. I uh, didn't even notice it when I got him in the mail from the guy I bought it from. Uh, till the other day, I'm like, oh, I'll put him in oh. jet mode. And then, and I was like, holy crap, these, these wings. I'm thinking I could just pop the pin and replace him. Like, no, these are two right wings. Some, some slanted eyed animal in a factory thought it was a good idea to let this slide. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> let, let him, let him go, Oscar. Let him he was, he was bang. hungry. He was hungry. He was I don't give a shit. He's six know. years old. He should know what he's doing by now. <laughs> oh my but, god! But anyway, yeah, I got him. So yeah, other than that, uh, um, right now I'm, I'm selling a lot of my shit because I am going to be getting my hands on Fortis, and then I'm going to be saving up for Hercules. Nice. Hercules, Hercules. What to lose? Um, deluxe. Not a damn thing. What? Yeah. What? You couldn't, pre-order find a, some you, stuff. Couldn't, you couldn't find a piece of shit anywhere? <laughs> no, <laughs> man. I'm in Arkansas. You remember that. We don't get shit. Uh, Literally, um, they don't get shit. Got we got thing. guns, though, but they're not true. Hell yeah. I got uh, the Make Toys uh, Gears and Swerve and My First Blaster right. and the Armageddon add-on kit for Omega. All right, P.R. Yeah. <laughs> and I got... Uh, what the fuck else? I got Make Toys Giant. Um and I got uh I got the IDW stuff. Did I talk about that last time? I got Scoop and Skywarp and the the mini cons. I don't know if I spoke oh, about yeah. that. Yeah, I think you said something about it. We talked about the mini cons. Good <laughs> grief. What a piece of shit. I don't want to say that. I told you. you. It's coming. I actually like Scoop. I actually do. Um I don't know Scoop. what it is yeah, about him. I kinda I, I kind of agree with Bobby here. Like I, when I bought Scoop, I wasn't sure. Yeah. And I got him either. home. I look at him. I'm like, he's he's not he's not bad. He's really not. He's solid. Dude, not bad, but, but, yeah. You know, he used to, I spent twelve bucks for him. Damn I mean, guns. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. The guns are silly, but uh, but I I, I like. I, so I like is the G one though. Yeah. True. True. You know how you resolve that though, uh, Skullface is uh, that, sir? you you what you do is uh you buy a darker the moon top spin. Hear me out. And you just yank those guns off him, and then boom, works, looks looks great on him. Huh? Well, that is what top spin is good for. All yep. those guns. Yep. I actually have a top spin if anyone needs uh, some guns. I'm just saying. So I also got the <clears throat> guy warp, and I, I feel good. I just got, and we did talk about that because Oscar and I were talking about getting uh, getting a deal going, which we are going to go. And then I could tell you that uh, Oscar's fairness in the in the stealing world is he's a king among men. <laughs> but anyway, sexy time. Let's get started in uh, some third-party news. Um, much like the rest of 2014 in regards to third-party, uh, it's feast or famine, and it's definitely feast when it comes to third-party masterpiece-scale Dinobots uh, made by a new company <laughs> called Gigapower. Um, I'm not sure what, what kind of fucking team, creative team they have with these fucking names, but uh, they decided to go with Gigapower, and uh, they have released Snarl. Which yeah. fucking looks tremendous. Yeah, yes. I, I gotta interject here on something. Like, I I, I love these third party companies coming out of nowhere. It, it it parallels so much of the '90s gangster rapper when everybody had a fucking record label. Oh. <laughs> you know, and it was like, yeah, I'm with Bloodbath Records. You know what I'm saying? Or Slip and Slide <laughs> Records, and now it's like, you know, we're Gigapart, Gigapower, or we're Super Action <laughs> Deluxe Class figures. This is our. And then, of course, the the titles for all their figures. It's they they can't just call it something simple. They're gonna call it like this is our seven eight twenty four dash one model figure. Yeah. He is looking slim. <laughs> it's like, oh, you mean um um tracks? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's a ZX seventy four dash two. Not to get derailed, but do you remember uh, the show The Band, or The Band, as it were? Oh, with Puff Daddy and... Yeah, I'll yeah. never forget that, like... Yeah. Uh, there, there was oh, a, Making the Band. 
There was yeah, making the band. Yeah. There was a there was a time where like the the I guess the kids were fucking giving them a hard time, and it was during that '90s or that you know that early 2000 era of the studio having, away from them. everybody having their uh, their record label, and and uh, and Puff was like uh, he was like I tell you what, maybe you're not cut out for this. Maybe you're cut out for Homeboy Records, where they keep the money in the shoebox. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh-huh. you see the Dave Chappelle when he made fun of him? Uh, that, yeah, yeah, that was great. Uh, you're too close, man. You're too close. <laughs> too close, man. Fire. I spit hot fire. Uh, I want uh, ghost milk. Go give me some ghost milk. I should yeah. love that shit, my Jamaican accent. Me don't don't like this uh, generation deluxe boom baby. Me don't throw it away. <laughs> throw it in the trash. Me don't care. You come around here with that gold fire and he's looking like an old beach there. Boom baraz. <laughs> boom baraz. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, uh, I, I think Snarl was cool. good. Snarl looks fucking awesome. Yeah, he does. Are we God, getting like God, different Dinobots from every, uh, like a different company? I mean, See, every Dinobots going to be. What's, uh, what's the last Sludge, I think, is left? Yes, yeah, Sludge. Sludge and. Somebody's got to do Sludge. That's it. That's it. Yeah, we've got to slag. Poor Sludge is just always crapped on. No, Nobody likes it. I think that's because people don't know how big to make that motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I yeah, agree. Because, I mean, that regular Dinobot just doesn't scale properly with the rest of the dinosaurs. Yeah, he's one of the bigger yeah. dinosaurs, you know, that were around, so, yeah. My thing with this is, is Fans Toys going to do the whole set? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, that's what I'm worried about, too. Like, we haven't, we've only seen uh, Snarl from them. Like, where? show me some of the other ones. Like, should I be buying in on that other company swoop in this, uh... Flag or well, this gnarl, I'm sorry. They, they, they yeah. really can't do that. They blew this quarter's budget on that prototype. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. And this is the right. Maytoys is the, the MP, right? It's not the Deluxe, are they? We've this, seen the Giga Power stuff. This is no, the Maytoys. Whatever y'all were talking about. Fans, fans, oh, fans toys, sorry. Master, masterpiece. All time masterpiece, okay. yeah. Um, We've seen the silhouette on it, so I mean, they're they're planning it. Right. Um, mm-hmm. I think they, I don't think, I think they're being smart and they're not, um, here, here's my thing with them. Uh, Quake Wave was what, 150? Yeah. And he was yeah. a solid figure. And then this one's Smallish, one. For, well, and and be honest, or let's be let's be realistic. Quake Wave no. was all of our top fives, just about for the year. Yeah. So That's it. That's all you had to say. Well, I just want to. My, ah, my, my point Christ. there is that is that is, that, is that it's a trustworthy company. Kind of. <laughs> moment of silence. You know, I know what. My thing is, I think, because uh, if you look at retailers or the same ones that were selling uh, Quake Wave for 150 or selling uh, Scoria for 200, and I'm thinking what happened there was uh, uh, Fans Toys uh, maybe set the price too low, or they got greedy, one of the two. But either way, um, I think they're trying to fix some of their mistakes they made. And I think uh, Scoria is going to be a better figure than uh, Quake Wave. And um, I think we're going to start seeing a $200 uh, price. Now, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to buy all of the Dinobots for that because I'm running out of things to sell. But but um, I do have Scoria taken care of. Um, I'm excited to see what comes of this, uh, this new company. I'm not really feeling that... Uh, that swoop, the more I look at it, the one we saw from um, yeah, fucking the, uh, the your, your sister's cousins, brothers, friends, toys, or whatever. Yeah, hey, get them right. They're called Buffalo Wing or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I did. Uh, I think Scorpion got pushed back to April. Also, yeah, yeah we didn't see that coming. Let me look. look you oh, was it April? Third party yeah. release dates are suggestions. Right, yeah, it's just a general area. Like, we, we yeah. hope to get this, but don't count on it. it, it, it all the release dates should say ish at the end of it. Actually, yeah. can I, I keep April it sh- a little bit more real than sure. that? It's like a drug dealer. It's like your dude that comes to deliver to you, and he's like, I'll be there in five minutes. And the motherfucker shows up, like, next Thursday. <laughs> I, I don't know that, right? Sorry. I don't. Are you used to it. I think Scoria is going to end up coming out this month. I re- or, well, not this month, but March. March. Since think February so. is almost over. I, I think so, because with all these other Dinobots coming out, like I think Fans Toys, if they're pr- preparing to make all of them, needs to be smart enough to throw the first one out to lock people in on, right. well, I got this one, 
Oh, yeah. I want right. the ones that sk- that go with this one, same size. I can guarantee the, the size they're building to and but all I think that, that was stuff. A, that was an official but statement by them that they were pushing it back to April. Was it? I didn't. I didn't see I that. Think, I mean, I think it's I still listed wrong, online as yeah. Like, it was on Robot. It was on Robot. It was on um R- RBK's on website. Oh, okay. And they're almost more, they're more trustworthy than BBTS or oh, yeah. absolutely they are. Well, BBTS the doesn't. BBTS likes to uh, take their you know pre ordered estimated to arrive bypass it by a month. It still says the the old mm-hmm. you know like February, and then they like update it to April or something yep. like that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hope that if um, if you are right, they're not pushing it out like too soon. Like I hope oh, the I hope pressure. Of, yeah, I hope they don't push it out too quick. I mean, uh, well, think about it, because the pressure of how many companies? What four now making Dinobots? I, I have fucking yeah. nowhere. Like where the fuck were you last year right, when there wasn't shit coming out? And I hope that pressure doesn't like start producing uh, subpar yeah. products. Uh, what do you think? Uh, well, I mean, you know, since I showed that for Snarl, so you see Snarl coming out maybe September, October. Maybe. Uh, all what I know is take? the Dinobots are the new Predacons. You know, this snarl looks so good. I really wish it didn't look so good because I know. Like, I, I feel know. like it I'm gonna like pre-order that. it regardless of what fans toy is doing. You know, and then oh, yeah. it's gonna come, and there's gonna be some size difference that's gonna make me unhappy. <laughs> but, but I'm also concerned like that. about like you know we don't know this company. You know, how's the how's the plastic? How's the oh yeah, toys, absolutely. How's the you know like we can trust fans toys. We know we can trust them. Yeah. Well, that's why, you know, you say you, they should start with the deluxe and, you know, see how they're going and well, then go up big balls to it. Well, I don't, I, don't necessarily, I don't necessarily agree with that either because Fans Toys came right out with a fucking masterpiece and knocked it out of the park. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, just to be safe. I mean, just to yeah. say, hey, here's our stuff. This is what, how we make it. This is what our MP is probably going to be like, kind of, you know. Or, or if they or shirt, maybe. See, here's the here's here's the here's the real problem. Is that if, if you're going to do a fucking masterpiece, you don't you're you know you're going to be investing a lot of money as the company. Yeah. So so you want to make a sure thing. Shockwave is a sure thing. Everybody wants to shockwave. Everybody wants Dinobots. The problem is is that nobody else went to the step three to kind of say, okay, a lot of people are going to be doing Dinobots. What's the next fucking shit that people are going to want? They just yeah. <laughs> they just yeah. all I mean, settled and, on. And it it completely surprises me that. Nobody has said, let's make, like, you know, not, like, Voyager size, but a little bit bigger than that uh, size uh, Dinobots for, like, the people who are classics collectors yeah. in the classics, the classic yeah. style. I mean, that's you got Planet X making theirs, but they're kind of War for Cybertron based, you know? Yep. Oh, a box set of Dinobots, man? That would sell, like, you know, that would sell awesome. I think the deluxe size, maybe almost Warrior size, or a box set of Dinobots? If they made a a scale that fits your classics, I mean, that that whole market is completely open. Why is nobody nobody doing a Peronicon? Yep. With more Terracons. And more Neon Green. Oh, yeah, the Terracons would be awesome. Mm. I want to see my Sea of Cons updated, baby. That would be yep. a shit. I want to see the yeah, monster. Yeah, that box. would buy the fuck out of that. Yeah. Computron. I mean, I know that I <laughs> think they're making one, but yeah, it makes room noises. looking like a Miami subs bathroom. All I want to see. Uh, I want to see the triple changing headmasters. I want to see the triple see. changers in general. Well, that I too. See but wheelie, man, fuck that wheelie. Um. So is, is everybody kind of in the same boat that everybody wants this, but everyone's worried? Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely pre-ordering when it gets up. I'm pre-ordering. It, it's kind of hard for me because like, I don't own an MP Grimlock. And, like, when I heard they're re-releasing them here in the U.S., like, the whole set, like, that in Japan, I was, like, really excited. But I'm looking at all these, and I'm just seeing $200-plus plus dollar price tags on a lot of these other ones coming yeah. up, dude. Yeah. They are. That's, a, <laughs> you know, what, almost a 1000 bucks after hey, done. Oscar, what are they re-releasing just like it was in Japan? The the MP Grimlock set. He's coming with the crown no, and stuff. It it yeah, just it comes with the crown the gun. Yeah, it's not coming with the Takara accessories. I just yeah. don't want you to get all worked exactly. up and then. Well, regardless, yeah. I still want to buy them, but at the same time, though, sixty bucks again. Oh yeah. If anyone's going to crush your dreams, Oscar, I want it to be me. Well, <laughs> wait till you get your package. Let's say that. <laughs> wait till you get my package. Moving right along. Uh, to, uh, to more to more packages of accessories. Uh, <laughs> new third party company DX9, uh, another super creative title. Of course uh, it is. Toys <laughs> are making accessories for your Transformer animated figures. Of course and Justin, they are. 
Justin can rejoice. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, well, 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 the interesting thing is, is there was a website, Unicron9.com or something like that, I think, and they made almost all these accessories, like the stasis cuffs, the magnets. The only thing they didn't have was the Primax, but who gives a crap? Mm-hmm. So, like... This is this is too late, and most people don't care about animated, and you know, and they either have it if they really cared about it, or you know, if they're, in my opinion, going to go for animated, it's going to be to add more characters, not things we don't need. So I don't I don't understand this really. It's a little too late. Yeah. I mean, I it needs to be dirt cheap too. Yeah, I, I think that that would be the. That would be the price point. I mean, you know, it, if, if they made it dirt cheap for those animated fans, that's the way to move this product. <clears throat> I like how yeah. animated, like how animated it is. Like, Ultra Hags, Stasis Cuffs, Magnets. Magnets, it's a good, because, it's you a know. a selling point. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of animated fans, and like, like Justin said, they would. Uh, I'm sure they would rather have some of the characters that were on the show that did get made, other than, you know, just pieces of, like, an axe or something or anything just to... Yeah. Uh, not to jump ahead to something better that I don't think is in this actual. Uh, oh, not you, Greg. In the notes, um, but uh, speaking of something better animated, how about the Mech Ideas? Uh, oh, the Upper Upper and Dumper. Uh, yeah, well, we might as well talk about them. The Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we, we've. I don't, I don't know. I guess they released more new images of them. Uh, are you are you still excited T two R X six? I am. I just wish they were a touch cheaper. That's all. Like other than that, I'm for? totally in for these sixty two for this set. Mm. I feel like this would have been better at like a fifty dollar price tag, but yeah. we'll see. Uh, they, just, they just feel they feel small compared to. Uh, I think they showed it with pictures next to the uh, whatever they are, the demolition crew guys, and it's just yeah, they're so much smaller. I just wish they were. It was like Cheaper. less in size. Yeah. But I do like animated, so I'm probably in on it. I like how the listing on, like, uh, BBTS says, the last picture with Geminis in it is for size comparison only and not included. Like, <laughs> duh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I would, I would ride them. I'd be like, no, I want the other figure. Damn it. I thought for the $62 price range that we were getting them. What the hell is this? You just threw me two legends out there. I don't want that. Yeah, I think they're 50 bucks. You know, even if they did, like, you know, I would like to see more incentive with getting two figures. Like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Yeah. If it, yeah. Was, if it was, like, 30 a piece and then both for 50 Exactly. Yeah. That's the the type That'd thing, and I feel at thirty that these are okay size to justify a third party toy for like thirty bucks. So, you know that know. people are gonna buy both of them. I mean, uh, yeah. why would you buy one? So yeah, that would be a good pricing point out there, or to get people drawn in. It's like, hey, if you buy both of them, we'll give you a little deal. Right. And buy one. Yeah, that'd be good. Is anybody else getting these? No, um, sir. Negative. I'm excited. I'm passing on this. Hey, speaking of mech ideas, yes. Not to yes. jump around too much, but uh, Oscar, hmm. um, you know how you like uh, <laughs> a certain uh, third-party Asian company? Uh, yes, uh, yes, I do. <laughs> what if I was to show you that? Uh, uh, that's not fair. <laughs> What if I <laughs> mech ideas <laughs> make a rock of fire? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Ryan. No Gojira. Not now. Mach 5. Sure. <laughs> what the fuck are you Ryan? this? Ryan. What? Angry. Oh, Stupid. How about Mac Ideas bought a fucking design from Rock 5? I Rock know. Five. I have. I heard this news at 4 o'clock in the morning, morning today. <laughs> I was made sure calling out. I've been sick and like my, I had like the biggest shit eating grin on my face because <laughs> this is the, the, those of you guys listening me and Skullface were like you know the figure looks like it'll suck but the memories yes. and, and and now that it's gonna happen and, and we won't be paying 50 60 bucks for this thing it'll be reasonably priced yep. because everyone knows that Mech Ideas has made I think they made a hell of a splash into the third party market with their demolition crew set absolutely yeah. hey, weren't they just bitching about their pricing on some figures but whatever 
Sorry. True, true, true. <laughs> okay, well, what would you say? We, we were just That's bitching about their prices just... for animated. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, th- th- this is, I, I think this is going to be fairly priced compared to what they were asking for originally. Yeah. Point um, is, well, they said, Rock, they, Rock, they Rock, said Rock. online uh, it's going to be cheaper than the Rock 5 uh, version. <laughs> I had just said Rock 5. Hear me, American. It's settled. I'm getting Rock 5 tattooed as yep. a tramp stamp. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm coming to TFCon with a Rock 5 shirt. So. <laughs> That's right. You can get your original Rock 5 shirt on Shattered Cast <laughs> online at gmail.com. Dude, we should fucking nothing. definitely make that. Yep. Rock 5. And make, like, <laughs> like, the most a little angry Asian flyer. man. And that way, when you guys see him at TFCon, they're going to be like, oh, what's that? And you go, that's Rock 5. Ah, like, oh, we're not Rock 5, we're fans. And then, boom, we get free figures. Hey, but, we could put that picture of the uh, Piranacon of, of that guy. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't say any names. Don't say any names. I didn't that. put names. I just said that we could put that picture of Piranacon <laughs> as the first just custom. Don't say, say train wreck. <laughs> All right. We could put wreck. that picture of train wreck on train our wreck shirt. Con. It said Rock 5. Oh god! I, I just got to say, like this is this is really good news. Um, yes. They haven't blown, yeah. they haven't like you know spam fucked their own Facebook wall with horrific redecos of this guy. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I got to say, make him Dinobot. Yeah, we're gonna make him <laughs> a, a Dinobot from Beast Wars. He still transformed to Trek, you know. <laughs> oh look, he, oh, he impact her, but he only scout class. But <laughs> what, what never bothered me is like this one goes, can you guys make him a little taller? It's like, dude, if you actually right. read the comics, no. he yeah. isn't one of the big guys in the records. He's like a smaller dude. He's slightly taller than Guzzle, you know? And exactly. I really hope they, they look at this. I, I really hope they take this yeah. and they actually make a Guzzle. So that way everyone's record shelf nice. shall be complete with awesome. Yeah, I will, with a Guzzle with a split apart waist. Yep. And not only that, but I mean, it's, I mean, like, can you make him a little bit bigger? Like, are you fucking moron? They didn't fucking design it. They fucking bought it. Yeah. You know, yeah. they bought the design. It's done. It's, it's signed, sealed, delivered. It's the, the designing process is big. now out of it. He's the stocky I am. guy. I mean, he's just a stocky transformer. I thought he's a short, stocky. And I want it to I be, mean, the, want I want it to be the Rock 5 design. If it's not, yeah. <laughs> I'm broken hearted. I, I'm so in on this so, as long as Mech Ideas doesn't make me buy this and whatever other redeco they decide to paint with it. You yeah. know, like I just I, I I really hope in buying the rights they just go, Hey, just Iron Fist. You know, like <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> nobody <laughs> else. You're supposed to buy the the hood. <laughs> and then the guys at Mech Ideas are like, Nah, we don't want to buy every chair, just a just a Ryan Fist. No, you how about the redeco Iron Hand? Ah no, we don't wanna sell shit. <laughs> You go ahead, you go call Fan Project, they make it. <laughs> now, if, if, if Mech Ideas starts using their, their Facebook page and starts posting a bunch of outlandish redecos, I am, I am game. Like, go ahead, do that, and make fun of the company you yes. bought it from. I'm yes. all for that. Absolutely. How do you, how do you feel about this figure as Minasaw? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you take 5 Mark 5, Mech 25, the super crew, you have Minasaw. <laughs> Already look like a car on his chest. You see? Right. <laughs> what? Wait, what, what if you take a, a bigger a bigger iron fist, put a little iron fist inside, take your little iron fist, make a big iron fist, you got my structure. Hey, if you get pale, it's Gojira. Come in here, that's 2013. It's great news. I, I am so balls deep on this purchase it's it's not even funny it's I'm now, the same thing here dude it's it's <laughs> not even it's not even a fucking conversation to be had with myself it's <laughs> i see this guy available like you know dub k toys jason you're listening you're you asshat you better fuck this and I need, yeah. I need two of these i need oscar to autograph one of them with you know, <laughs> 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 you know what we need is a voice chip to put in it oh it's, yeah oh. we need to make that happen <laughs> They'd be like, what the keep saying on the records? You put them in vehicle mode, ah, it's just Mac 5, I drive away. And then it's got the Shattered Cast logo on the door. Yes, yeah, it's just like a bumper sticker. Hey, uh, can can, I, can I, we I, maybe convince uh, TFCon to make this an exclusive? I mean... Please, <laughs> or in, and do rep or labels of Shattered Cast bumper stickers. 
Yeah. Exactly. Nice. Or I'll, I'll just go. I'm just going we'll to. I'm, just, I'm not going to lie. I'll say it right here on the air. I am going to buy two of these, and I'm going to make one of these shattered cast on cut version. Uh-huh. I am going to repaint them in our colors of our logo, and I, I got some you know sticker paper here. I'm going to print up some little shattered cast logos, and these got to be all over the doors. That is awesome. And it's going to be called Rack Fan. <laughs> <laughs> what awesome. were you saying, Antoine? I was saying, so what happened to the other theater they were going to make? Uh, crane case. Uh, I don't yeah. know. I, I would imagine that if they do a two pack, that that would be the second design because that I was the crane case. That was the only, yeah, that was the only other one that got fucking love. It you was know, like they, Gauntlet, I think it was called. Yeah, one yeah, was yeah. Gauntlet and one was something else. Yeah. Um, and then they were like, and then they were like, and here's Hound, and here's Ironhide, and, here, and then oh, no, like, no, no, here's no. Impactor. Hey. Here's Impactor, yep. yep. You're going to shit on your dreams, because, you well, know. you know Lovelace. I mean, Crankcase is in the comic, so, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'd be okay with a Crankcase. Like, if that was the second design and that was the two-pack they sold, I'm in. Yeah, same in. thing here. Especially if they have that old school like freaking card backing, you know, like yep. the the demo yeah. twins yep. that that yeah, was that sweet. Cool. Yep. That was sweet. No mess on the opening. So <laughs> this is all love. Um love. Robot Kingdom has posted prototype images of the unique toy sound. Now, we've we've talked about this look at this before, but now it's colored images, right? So or partly colored anyway. <laughs> sort of. The yeah. red is there. Yeah, the red in like a darker gray. It's only missing, I guess, the yellow and the light gray. I gotta say, it's looking better than I was originally thinking, though. I so. I am not gonna lie, my uh, after owning Mania King, um, my opinion of Unique Toys has changed greatly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was blessed to not have one with any defaults, like uh, poor Kuma style did. He got that one with that bum knee. Mm. But um, this blaster looks okay. But again, I'm looking at this one where he's standing side by side with Galvatron, and he's got like really open fists, and I am not crazy about that. Yeah, that looks really weird. I mean, <laughs> but I do like the cassette that unfolds into a rifle, mm-hmm. and you know, thankfully, if that's all his accessories, I'm sold. Um, and I just hope the uh, KFC tapes fit in him. Snuggly. Yeah. Because if they, they don't, have to, wow. I would think. <laughs> yeah, they have to. They, 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 that would be a big. But but didn't we also? I don't know. I guess time will tell. But I think that would be a big mistake if the if the G one slash masterpiece slash KFC tapes don't fit. I mean, it's it's it. There's no other option for a standard. Well, you know. Yeah. Well, one of the pictures they show is a tape. Is that the that's same the size? that's the or rifle? Do we know? Yeah, we don't know because that's just, that's the yeah. rifle. So we don't know if that's the same size or not. Uh, you can always I mean, hold it, up the ones you have up against your computer screen and dry them out. <laughs> They're much, much too big. This guy's going to be huge. I yeah. know this isn't a possibility, but um, it would be pretty cool if they made it so the G1 tapes could fit. But for some reason, the KFC tips or uh, KFC tapes were just a little offsize and wouldn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> and for its price tag of um, fifty nine ninety nine, it's really not bad. Oh, is that the price of it? Yeah. That is a that's good price. That's not that at all. That's at Robot Kingdom. So I would think that's really oh, reasonable. 20 bucks. So it would be 100, 180 yeah. here in America. And uh, if if you're an artist like uh, Skullface and myself, you understand uh, sometimes you talk about head height. He's about a head shorter than Galvatron. Yeah. So it's not it's a decent sized figure, man. And if you're, like, if, uh, I think if you're, yeah. like, if you're a classic. Yeah. You can buy, like, what, what for top of the time, a sound size, something like that. Yeah. yeah. I think if, like, if you're a classics guy, like this is this is a no brainer. I, I feel like you know this would be your definitive blaster. I was not pre ordered on this guy, but I am as of like two minutes ago. Wow, good man. <laughs> now do the sexy dance. Yeah, that's right. I, 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 I gotta <laughs> tell you, so, some 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 of the T two R X six purchases have been stressing me out recently. Why is and that? We, we got this pre ordered, but you're but you're holding off on the Warbitron set. Uh. uh yeah, I am. I am. Well, it's not because I don't want to, but I want to get them. It's just that with the, you know, Scoria and stuff coming, I need to keep those higher priced things, you know, at bay a little longer. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. Like, I would like to come back and pick them up, and I'm sure he's going to be available six yeah. months from now when I can and afford them. So. And they'll do a fucking box set like everybody else does. Right. I just don't need a $1,000 dropping, you know, yeah, I hear <laughs> at you. one time. The bloodbath is almost amongst us. Exactly. Bob, Bobby, you should That's hear some of the shit I've, I've been buying uh, the last couple of days. 
<laughs> it would make you uh, just fucking have an aneurysm on the uh, spot. I don't know if I can Oscar, handle it. Oscar, what did I just get from you for a third time? Uh, it's way, uh, uh, Hoist and Trailbreaker. And guess what I bought no. from WK? Guess what I bought from WK? The upgrade set for The him. upgrade set. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Which is one of the reasons why I sold them, because it, it just seemed like a waste. I'm like, you know, like these guys are all right, but they've been in storage more than they've been on my shelf, so good luck. They're going on my, light, my Lost Light shelf. Oh. That's the only reason. Good they're, luck, sweetie. They're on you my, know, uh, go ahead. To, to uh, bounce back, I guess, to what Oscar was saying about his opinion of unique toys changing, uh... You convinced me to pick up the uh, Sharkticons, which was also a unique toys thing. And yeah, like, you know, that really swayed me in the other direction, too, the the, the whole thinking behind their products. So that's why, you know, this blaster is so much more appealing now. So Yeah, I think that, like, uh, like you know how they say, like, you know, like, like, you know, like bad tattoos last forever, good, good tattoos are pretty temporary? Um, uh, no. Well, like, if, that, like, or, like if, if, you, <laughs> if, if you make like if you make like a bad impression on somebody, like the shit lasts right. forever. Nobody ever fucking forgets. Mm-hmm. But you do like something good, and you know, fucking two weeks later, it's like, well, what's what, what's the fucking last thing you did? Um, yeah, yep. like Benny the Bridge Builder. You know, he built the million bridges, then he sucked one cock. Now he's Benny the Cocksucker. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, the, you know, just, just, I, I totally see where you're coming from on this. So, uh, in other words, Antoine, the butterfly tattoo you have on your tram stamp is still gay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, stop with the bitch streams. Okay. Well, what I'm what I'm saying is, oh, don't go, don't get Antoine upset now. Antoine went to phase two in the chat. I, I was about to say, stand <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I can, I can see Ari Brink in the fucking. <laughs> but um, what I'm trying to say is that uh, Unique Toys has kind of effectively started to turn their reputation around, and that's yep. pretty fucking awesome. Cause Mostly it's rare. because, yeah, especially when um, you know, uh, according to what some people said in some conversations, they are basically they used to be the company CHMS. That was making those right. high quality knockoffs. At X Transbots, like it's all X Transbots that made that made stacks. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Um, so moving right along, something new is coming from Fans Project that has completely fucking stumped everyone. Yeah, and I don't get this shit at all. That is Project Triplex. This is your fault, Skullface. <laughs> I'm not taking responsibility for this. But look, th- th- look. This is my. I hope this is not a re-release of this figure, and I hope this is not a retooling of this figure because I, I think that. Uh, this figure had a had a time and place, and the the industry has moved past that time. I agree. Did you did you did anyone read the picture like the whole thing that was posted in the, I did. the like story? It, it comes across like it's still fucking Warbot Defender, right? Yeah. Well, it's and then at the end it says it suggested that after all this time he may need another upgrade. I'm like, oh no, please no! Like we right. just got like an awesome Springer from exactly. Hasbro. Like we don't need this. But they also say, like, in the sentence before, you know, uh, where is it? Uh, As a first or, reform warbot defender has proven the valuability of the triplex process and yeah, take yeah, away yeah. for take others. Take away for others. I'm like, the others, please, bring the others. <laughs> right. where's, where's Octade? Give me a good Octade or something. Give me yeah, the Astro Train. Astro Train. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'll take Astro Train. That'd be awesome. A good, good Blitzwing. Um, a good I, Blitzwing I, would be nice. My yeah yeah because God knows I need a that'll be insane yeah some um, triple changing headmasters go ahead make your two lines yep. cross over come on yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 but like Speaking. go ahead well no because I'm actually well I want to talk about something that's fans project but not this so you say what okay. you're gonna say I, I was just gonna say that like you know it's kind of just to reiterate what Justin said like you know. The Springer from Hasbro is our, like, I mean, that is the exception to the rule. Like, that is the time that Hasbro came along and and put out an affordable product, like, super affordable product that was also superior to all of its competition. Mm-hmm. Like, don't fuck with it. Leave it alone. Like, you know, everybody gets one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> who, who has their uh, Springer in their hand right now? I, I, mine's downstairs. Mine's in the oh, show. I, uh, 
And okay. right now. <laughs> but you know, he's... Hear the, that? That knee ratchet? You hear that? You know, Vance Project... Play has a solid reputation like you know, you know even even with the warbot defender like you know th- their their reputation is stellar as far as product goes so i just can't imagine what they would you know what their business plan would but but you know their business plan has been confusing me now for 6 months but um i can't imagine what their end game would be you know to 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 try to remarket this figure unless they've lost a ton of money on it but i can't imagine that either yeah i can't that either I think it's a, a bad move that they're doing this, and I'm sorry, I, I, I do. I think it's this is the same figure that kind of made me uh, have a squinty eye towards third party companies altogether. Yep. Um, I think it's a whatever. They're, I mean, uh, Wait, did just, you buy two of these, Oscar? Yeah, I had up to two of them at one point because they were reasonably priced compared to what everyone else was asking for them. You know, and then both of them had the same freaking faults. And without the fact of the people I bought them from, yourself included, you know, you shouldn't. I, I'm a I'm a firm believer is if the thing don't stand up on its own, I should not have to drop any money to buy it a pair of fucking heels. I'm sorry. Hey, you mine know, came from heels, motherfucker. Yeah, because I bought it off of you that way. Yeah, but if when I bought them and then I, the other one I got didn't have them, I'm sitting there just, wow, this is this is just kind of a floppy, legless, loose mess. It doesn't need to be. And then, boom, they came out with a uh, steel core after him, which was supposedly superior. Never owned him. And then there was a salter, which was amazing. Yep. You know, but it's like here's the one. This is what your impact was, and you gave us some really flimsy, loose ass knees and un- and its own inability to stand up straight. A fucking nightmare you know? of a transport of a transformation. Yeah, you know, like oh, you just yeah. you over engineered the shit out of it, and now you're gonna come back with it. Why? I'm hoping you know, that that's not the case. I hope not too. The the one in the picture, I actually ran over to my shelf and grabbed my uh, defender off the shelf, and the one in the picture is most definitely defender. Yeah. So I don't know. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, they just don't do Springer and go with some of the other ones that we need. Okay. Yeah. And like, and if this is a redeco of that, like that's I, I'm that's a pass for me. Yeah, and you know what? Don't even bother with Sandstorm either, because that, yeah, that one they, worked too. Yep, yep, they got that one too. Um, so like you know, I, I think that the, the unless you what? unless you want to go the the picture perfect G one Sandstorm helicopter, then maybe I'll consider it. But yep, that's the only way. But it can't be a redeco slash retool of this fucking thing. Absolutely not. Right. <laughs> But things that that fans project uh, is doing right, in my opinion, uh, as far as their uh, their lesser lines. I saw an ad for uh, the. Apparently, there's already a re-release of the Glacial Vats. Yes. <laughs> yes. And the I don't ad about. looks like it came. Out, well, I, I don't either. <laughs> but the ad uh, looks like it came out of a fucking J.C. Penney catalog, yes. so yes, at 1985. <laughs> And dude, that was like the best third party ad I've ever seen. Like the little kids giving the thumbs up and everything. Yeah. Uh, here's a fun awesome. note: that kid in a photograph is actually the factory employee of the month. <clears throat> yeah, so. that was, no, 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 no! It's like a little white kid. Exactly, exactly. White kids. exactly. They're, they they build out in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a kid in your basement, oh. Oscar. That's oh. a kid in your basement. But I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder where they even found the little. Uh, Oscar's basement. <laughs> does anybody have a? Does anyone have a link Put to that? Put the lotion. Um, I'm gonna wear uh, your skin. Let me look. I I saw it in the Cybertron Cafe. Um, a really good Facebook group, by the way. If anyone's uh, <laughs> into such things, these are immense. Like uh, I remember seeing like uh, some other reviewers check them out, and it's just like, why did they make these? I don't understand. I still don't. I think the combined form looks retarded. You know, it's well, like Justin. Justin, he didn't sell it for me because uh, I, I, it's, it's just a little too expensive to interest me. But uh, he did explain it to me in a way where it it made me consider it. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm off of it though. Like, yeah, he's, he's that that on. whole the whole not being able to get it has put me past wanting them. Like, I'm I'm I, I really enjoyed the interest in them making like modern G1. That was. Completely, yeah, and, and they were asking how much for these figures that come with pre-creased box at corners. I mean, I don't. Well, but that's the coolest thing about them is right. like the whole thing is trying to make it look like, hey, look, this is a G1 toy that never, never saw the light of day. You know, this is some some collector somewhere poorly took care of this thing, and 
this is why the box is all faded and torn and, yeah. you know, the one that came from uh, a different country because, you know, they were all destroyed, so the only you one you can have came from Hong Kong, Kong, you know? You Transformers but, nerds are fucking idiots. <laughs> you know, if there's a god, Godzilla will strike down this tanker also. Well, sure, I will <laughs> fucking tank go to tanker. That's a fast no project. We don't you. like the black people. We don't like Hispanic. Uh, we overcharge for shitty transformer. Like Horatio <laughs> Road. Ra, ra, ra. Oh no! Gojira! And then they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you rock a, you rock a fucking elk? I strike you to fucking Alaska. <laughs> oh, look, we make another mammoth transformer. Only fill every time they make one. <laughs> hey, 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 Justin! If you want those those Gresham bars, this I think there's, I think the three of them on on Chamonmon dot com or something like that. Nah, I'm I'm over. Yeah, he, he moved past them, but he, but he the thing is, there. they're they're selling the set I think for two hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which is pass. I mean, for it's, no a pass, it's a pass for me too. But <clears throat> you yeah, know, no my more. my thing is this: like, this is how I, I see it. After Justin talked about it, it happened a long time now. This is the Autobot, in my opinion. This is the Autobot answer to Predaking in G1 that you never got. And somebody found a case of it that was supposed to get shipped and never did, and is now selling it. (laughs) After he killed seven people for it. (laughs) Anyway, um, also uh, in the... Well, I guess... I'm not going to pass judgment yet, but... uh, there's some prime heads coming from Daka Toys. Um, what's everybody's thoughts on this? It looks like they're doing Nemesis and Optimus. Yeah, for the MP10 and MP10B sets. Uh, they they look all right. One's like the the animated film accurate version. I was told. Mm-hmm. And the other is well, I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I like the head on my prime. Me looks too. great. I don't think I'm going to be picking these up, even though they're they're reasonably priced, though. Twelve dollars. Yeah. I mean, that's not yeah. bad at all. It's not bad no. at all. It's it's a good deal to give your prime a new hat. <clears throat> but if there was one, if there was one figure in my whole collection that I did not need fucked with, it's that one. Yeah. I think uh, it's safe to say a lot of us agree that figure is in a league of its own. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anybody that's like, yes, finally the oh, head I need? One. <laughs> I said that last time. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I all right. I paid $12 for some head. <laughs> oh, what was no. his name? <laughs> uh, hey, shorty, Greg shorty, for shorty, mercy. His shorty smiles. What's right. his initials? SP. Thanks. Look at that yes. face for Glacier Lords combined <laughs> mode. It looks like total derp. It, <laughs> it makes that Superion set from TFC, his combined mode, look like, you know, well, an outright now, genius. Now Oscar has provided me the perfect segue. <laughs> Speaking of derp, <coughs> Hasbro oh, slash the car oh. slash whatever you want to call him. Oh, God. Transformers Cloud Braun versus Starscream. Hey, we got a brand oh, new seeker. Oh. His name is Shit Looker. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. He's a loving it's new. It's brand new. Uh, man, it's the worst fucking take on, the on these guys ever, motherfucker. God. What the fuck are you happy about? One's an ugly ass, like, redeco of, of, of a badass figure that was first edition bulkhead, and they're just giving him a new head and a different a paint job. And the other one's Starscream. The only thing I give props to them about the Starscream is, hey, he actually comes with real fucking null rays. But even they look retarded on him in robot mode, so it's a fucking fail. $100 a pop for this shit. Starscream is not a tank. What the fuck? Really? Everybody I could buy... Tank? What? The brawn. I could... I could... I could... I could see the brawn. Ain't worth no $100, though, bro. No. Well, yeah, no. no. But the Starscream just a whole big like, old bunch. You ever watch Puppet Master? He looks a lot like the Pinhead Puppet. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> so, does anybody else see the uh, snake face in Brawn's chest? Got the two eyes for the doors with the the fangs. Yep, you're yep, big yep, on yep, that. Yep. You're, you you <laughs> notice that stuff like that. That's all. They, like, it's they, like that they in a lot of the right prime figures. They do. Yeah. A lot of the prime figures had that going for them. Is uh, a lot of the Autobots and, and some of the the Decepticons had that gig going on there, which I never. 
I'm reading stay. the comments and like nobody is condemning the star screen. Like everybody's like, oh, no, they're no, loving no. it. It's they're interesting, it. I guess. It's stupid. It's a new it's spin target. on Starscream, and it's new spin. On, with it's not a GDO. new spin. It's not a fucking new spin. It's a I lazy know. cop out. It's another. It's the same mold that's going to have the same QC issues for it, you know. Yeah. And and that's all there is to it. It's a fuck. Like, it's a double deal face. Do y'all not remember Blitzwing? Did y'all not know what happened? Right. I mean, a double deal oh, didn't get better. And I mean, this is just going to be a shitty. Remake. People are saying it's creative and everything. It's the, it's the exact. It's actually the exact opposite of creative. It's the exact it's opposite. Lazy. Yeah. Did I just yeah. say you Transformers nerds are a bunch of fucking dumbasses? Did I just say Hell that? Yeah. Ron is so Sorry. bad. I I, I kind of hope that he gets like a U.S. release, like the GDO stuff did, so I can uh, get him because he's just so bad. But Starry Scream, like <laughs> regardless, I don't want. That's just that's just bad in levels that is not interesting. Bad. You'll see these two at Ross for twelve dollars. Exactly. Finally, that's shout was, out that's to whoever Stepper from. is. Said to me, Starscream using Blitzwing mode is really lame. That is the nastiest thing I've read so far. So whoever you are, Stepper, you have my respect <laughs> for being G-rated. But, but at least, at least saying it's not good. Yeah, I threw it up on my mail. Oh, here's one that's not that positive. Uh, Gizmotron, right? Starscream looks nice, but not $100 nice. <laughs> None of these look $100 nice. None like, of them do, dude. It, and it sucks because, uh, I'll, I'll admit right now, I saw what they were doing with the Megatron mold, and I was like, hey, that's a pretty neat color scheme, but when I saw that $100 price tag, I was like, that's nah, not a very, no. 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 The cloud thing's not, I don't think the cloud thing's going to really hit a lot of it, people. We won't see that here, hopefully. No. At all. Uh, I gotta I gotta see a picture of Starscream. Is he just using double dealer's head? Yeah, he's it's yeah. double dealer's head. Um but just added no oh, uh, Yeah, I I'm, I'm putting it in uh the, the text lines here. Just yeah, you're you're paying a hundred bucks for two guns. That's all there is. Yeah. No rays that don't even attach to the shoulders but underneath them and he looks stupid. And Dumb. you know, uh it's just stupid. It is. It's an absolute waste for anyone to sit there, look at this, and say it's, it's worth your money. You're a fool, especially yep. if you're a lot of the people that bitch about third party prices, and you're willing to pay a hundred bucks for this atrocity. Yep. Yeah, that's true. A hundred dollars a piece. It's not just a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's not just a piece. set. It's a it's hundred. That's piece. what I thought it was a set. Just like, well, what's in the Prime and Megatron? That was a hundred dollars each, right? Too. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I thought too. And I was like, oh, I'll just keep one and sell the other. No, it's a piece. So no, screw you. It's not gonna work. You know why people <laughs> aren't so ridiculously unhappy about Starscream? I bet it's because everybody just wants a freaking Voyager size Starscream. So like, make us a new mold and make it happen instead of this. Yep. And he's a triple changer. Fuck, we'll throw that in too. And and that's an easy that's an easy money maker for Hasbro, like like or, or Takara or whoever the fuck. I, like if my thing is like if if they're really upset with the third party market infringing on their you know intellectual properties, I get that. But like if you see iGear announce fucking Seekers and a Voyager size a year and some change out from release date, smack that shit the fuck out of the park. Exactly. Yep. And then you nobody's gonna buy that. eye gear. Or just get on the board and see what people are saying. Like, yeah, you know, it, people it, are excited it, for this shit. Then hey, maybe we need to make that shit. And, and and the fact that everybody's excited, and then the always right after the excitement is, but I really don't want to spend a hundred dollars a figure. That is your. That is your. That's your fucking key in. Yeah. It, you know. Yep. Like, oh wait. Wait. We can do that for cheaper, can't we, Jim? No, we uh, can't. We gotta make uh, the brand new um, rescue bots, um, <laughs> building guys, because you know John, our CEO, his kid wants a kitty transformer, so we gotta make the kitten line. I'm sorry, By I the can't way, hear you. I'm, 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 I'm still working on these Beast Hunter designs. <laughs> yeah, well, we need another say. prowl ASAP because Silver Streak is not gonna design himself. <laughs> Are we saying don't, Justin? Don't. Don't go on Google and just type Cloud Starscream to try to find the image. Because you get some really weird things showing up. <laughs> Are you on the Rule 34. Are you at the wrong? Oh, oh, yeah. uh, I'm clicking it. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. Why I'm do people part- feel the need to do that with Starscream? Oh, I just had a virus. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My yeah. girlfriend just got pregnant. What the fuck, Justin? What the fuck? Justin. Um, mm-hmm. To move on to I'm our... A child discussion for the week. Uh, 
This is actually this came about from from the from the discussion of uh uh the Cubex Huff slash X Transbot stuff for whatever his name is and you know and then the, uh, fucking pipes and stacks and and the whole bit and then talking about Jetfire and and all that and and Deluxe uh went on a bit of, went on a bit of an uh offensive mode which I always which I always get a kick out of um and and said you know if if this were Hasbro we were talking specifically about the uh the backpack on stacks on X Transpot stacks if this were Hasbro we would be all over them just like we are on the Jetfire backpack this is also kind of the conversation um where Oscar and I met for the first time, mm-hmm. which is about the uh, the idea of people forgiving third party companies for design flaws that they would slam Hasbro for. Yep. Um, my thing is 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 this, and I I I can see now in hindsight that I have given third party companies a pass on shit that I shouldn't have. Case in point being eye gears here and yeah. Swerve and <laughs> it says swerve. Um, because that is a, a, that those figures, those two figures are, are. I can I can honestly say now I've come to that point in my life. Just like it took me a little while to say it about episode one, is a complete piece of shit. And, <laughs> and um, you know, I, and I did apologize for it. And I think it, I think part of it is because you spend so much money on it that you're already like emotionally vested in it. Um. But I also feel like the backpack on stacks, for instance, in this given scenario, is accurate. Like, he has a big fucking cab hanging off his back. Um, where I kind of feel like the Jetfire thing, I kind of feel like the Jetfire thing is Hasbro's attempt, and it's a good attempt, but it's Hasbro's attempt to be all things to all people. It's Look, it's the old school G1 toy jet, plus the old school G1 toy face plus the old school G1 cartoon body instead of just saying like making a decision and kind of going with it and, and the jet mode look like a Veritech too so right right where, where, where like instead of just making a decision and going with it and saying look this right. this is the decision that we made we went with the original G1 toy design or this is you know this is the original this is the decision we made we went with the original G1 cartoon toy design now i'm sure all this shit stems from them winning that fucking lawsuit against Harmony Gold, uh-huh. um, but but still, I, I kind of feel like uh, it's it's not that I, I I trash Hasbro for it. It's just that like maybe it's unfair. But I mean, we're talking about like a company with an awful lot of experience, and maybe if they weren't so judgmental or fucking you know fangs out at these other companies, <coughs> I, I wouldn't be as critical. But it's the fact that they're that they're so, you know, trying to shut everybody else down, and I'd be all for that if they could compete with the product and, and release a, a, a an adult line figure aside from you know two masterpieces a year. But have, have you? I mean, with Hasbro products, have you ever in your reviews ever said I'm afraid to transform this thing because I might break it? I no, mean, that's, you're paying too much money, you uh, know, like for Minasaur and all that stuff, which I love. Not, not, I love right. third party, but right. I mean. I got you. I, you know, for um, you know, a whole hour, I sat there thinking, I'm fixing to snap this thing in half. Well, I'm that way with MP Megatron. Um, I was, I was yeah. even that way with MP01 to an extent, like just because it was the first of its kind, and I was like, oh my god, this feels like you know, it, this feels like it needs to be handled with care. Well, let me let me let me try to sum up as to why it is Hasbro gets a lot of shit, and it's going to sound immensely arrogant. I'm saying this for the record. I'm quoting yeah, well. the CEO of EA Sports when I say this. Um, EA Games, actually, when I say this, uh, the biggest tree in the field gets the most wind. It's easier to kind of, you know, it, it, it's easier to drive your car into a tree than it would be into a bush. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. <laughs> the third-party yeah. companies, they're not as big as Hasbro, they're not as established as Hasbro or Takara or Haztac, whatever you want to call it. So, ergo, it's easier for someone like Greg, for example, to sit there and oh. say, oh, this Blitzwing's just absolute fucking garbage. Whereas someone like Matt will sit there and say, you know, well, it, it, it looks good, man, but it, it's just got this problem right here. You know, like where Greg and I spoke about, I think it was in the last episode, about, hey, you have that stacks, and now you're filing shit down. 
Why did yeah. you pay so much to do that? You know, but at the same time, I had to file shit down for my Blitzwing, but I didn't pay as much as I did for him as I did for for Stacks. Yeah, you, yeah, you had to go to like Sally's and buy an Emery board and all that shit. I just took my fucking circular uh, file and zip, zip, and I was done. Yeah. You had yeah, to go into like the girly store. Do you think a third party company will be as? I mean, I, I don't think it's going to be as big as Hasbro because Hasbro's been away around for way yeah, too no, long. Yeah, no, no, absolutely not. I'm a, do you think all, not. in all? I mean, you know, as many as many as these third party companies are coming about, do you think no. that negative? Okay, negative. If Bank Project ever wants to try to take the crown, um, give me a call. I'm all I'm down <laughs> for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Mastermind being the other one, and possibly Fans Toys being number three. Um, I'm polishing my armor. If you want to invade Rhode yeah. Island, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> you know, and, and you know, uh, Justin you. and I have actually spoken about this before, where it's like, you know, DC is like, I, I always use it as an example just because I'm a major DC geek, but like, um, you know, DC has their own line of figures that DC makes. The, the 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 company DC Comics presents them. They're called DC Direct or DC Collectibles, I think now. Yeah. And they make a line of six inch figures. They also license their material to fucking Mattel, that makes a line of six inch figures. And they license their toys to fucking Hot Toys that makes six hundred dollar fucking dolls and. Uh, you know, Play Arts, which makes $75 high-end, highly articulated, highly detailed, adult-oriented figures. And I think that that is the way for Hasbro to win, you know, is to, is to step in and be like, you know, Fans Project, Mastermind, Fans Toys, you know, I wouldn't go anywhere beyond those three. Um, right. You know... We, we'll license it out to you. You can use our means of distribution, so that'll take a big chunk off of your selling end. But we're going to charge you for using the license, which will kind of even the playing field back out, so the prices probably wouldn't really change. Um, and you can continue making figures for adult collectors. Well, you think Casper will do that, though? I mean, Fuck I, no! I, Fuck no! Bunch, no they're a bunch no of way. assholes, man. They want the money. They don't care about... And yeah. now it's on principle. You know, now there's principalities involved, because if they do that, they lose. Yeah, they got they yeah, they're, they, they're they bowed down. Feet. They yeah. bowed down. And they said, "Yeah, we can't, you know, compete with these people, even though right. we're a lot bigger." But they're just making a superior project. Are you going to tell me that yeah. fucking the more than meets the eye staff doesn't have a fucking make toys swerve pre ordered or sitting on their desk? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> got you know what hey, I mean. You know I, that that that's you know you, you even mentioned for that. the Hasbro president. You mentioned that right there, Skullface, and, and you maybe like kind of ponder a question. I've kind of asked myself a few times. You know, and you being a fellow artist, you probably understand. Imagine you work for IDW, you bust your hump, right? Creating this character, you know, you you re envision um, Swerve, for example, yep. And then out of the blue, here comes Maki Toys, which a dead on depiction of the guy you design. Yep. You know, how, how do you think some of these guys feel? Because you only get paid so much, and yeah. they're re envisioning a character that's li that's owned by another company. Like this happens a lot in Marvel and DC. That's why you got heroes with new outfits and shit. Wouldn't you, as like the artist, wouldn't you like? Would you consider standing up and saying, "Hey guys, I noticed that Swerve looks a lot like my 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 rendition of him. How's about yeah. a little royalty fees, you know?" Yeah, yeah, I mean that would be nice, but I think I think also that it's you know it's major fucking flattery, you know, like you took a you took a figure that I mean you took a character that you know two years ago, it, you know everybody would have called you a fucking idiot if you know you said this is this is this is the guy everybody's going to put their money in. You know, nobody gave a fuck about Swerve. I think Greg was talking about that. You know, nobody gave a fuck about Swerve a couple of years ago. Now Swerve's like, you know, top five Autobots of all time for a yeah. lot of people. You know, like I've said it before and I'll say it again that I think IDW is completely underappreciated even by its own license. You know, like the IDW comics is the leading creative force, in my opinion, for for the franchise. And, you know, the toys are finally starting to catch up a bit. Um,. We lost Greg, and uh, the, the 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 toys are starting to catch up with it. But I don't think that the appreciation is there from, you know, from Hasbro e either. Do you know what I mean? Like like what they did with the Megatron bit, you know, and you know, and guys at IDW kind of getting their their feathers ruffled a little bit, saying, "Well, you know, it'd have been nice to get a little fucking thank you or a little, you know what I mean?" Yep. Uh, yeah. 
But that's kind of what happens. Hasbro, uh, like it or not, is the proverbial 800-pound gorilla, sure. and sure. it's just oh, what yeah. it wants to. Right. But at the same time, though, like I always kind of looked at it like, you know, if I'm the guy that 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 reimagined um, Springer, and I look at fans' projects, Warbot Defender, and it's like, wow, that kind of looks a lot like what I worked my ass off. You know, how about a little little nod to those of us that um, kind of busted our hump on there? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like these these figures, a lot of people talk about it. They they kind of I don't say they tread on it a lot. They kind of tippy toe around the IP. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, that keeps them out of fucking a courtroom. Sure. You know, it's like, oh, this isn't really the con- these aren't the constructor cons. They're 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 the Hercules team. Right. Or they're the giant team. You know, that's not who they really are. They just happen to combine and form a robot that looks a lot like your IP. That's all there is to it. Well, well, my other question is, do you think that maybe some of that is is helping to fund the business? Do you know what I mean? Like, is is there a kid uh, or, you know, a young adult into comics, into Transformers, but not necessarily into Transformer comics, and is, you know, watching YouTube reviews and sees you know, a review of the Make Toys Swerve set, you know, or whatever, and they say it's highly inspired by this comic, and then they go and start checking out the comic. You know, is there anybody, or, or, or you know, even take take fucking, you know, take fucking third party out of it, and and take the Springer, which is, you know, you know has a super, you know, look to fucking Last Day of the Records Springer. Yeah. And, um, you know, is there anybody out there that, you know, wasn't a fan of the comics, got the Springer, and then got into the comics. Or, you know, with the with the deluxes that are being released with the comic, and that's using it as a gateway back into the comics. You know, I, I don't know how there, you know, if there's any way to track that, but is it, you know, is it perpetuating the brand anyway? You know, is it putting more money in IDW's pocket in the long run? You know, I guess it's a fair question to ask. Yep. Well, you, you know what I would like to see? And, uh... Well, yeah, no, fuck it. Um, this is what I'd like to see. Um, IDW, uh, pretty much came out with a, what do they call them, the Hollow Matter avatars? I would like to see a company make a set of those. Do you know what I'm talking about, like the projections? So like, uh, like the Ratchet Human and like the Whirl, which was the oh, little yeah, girl with yeah, the yeah. And yeah. the, uh, the Swerve, he's like the fat guy in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> you know what's totally buy those? Yeah. That, uh, I'll tell you what, I kind of have mixed feelings about that because it's bad enough I come across that occasional shitty DeviantArt drawing of, what if Megatron and Soundwave were humans, what would they look like? <laughs> and it's always like taking this like weird, really ultra serious where in, it's why it's like I'm kind of split down the middle on this. If you, if you read that issue more than meets the eye, it wasn't based on like, you know, in seriousness. It's you had, you had Whirl who was a one-eyed girl with pigtails. <laughs> yep. You know, which and was fucking hilarious, but they weren't doing it, thankfully, they weren't doing anything sexual. Because we all know that's what happens there. They're anime, and now they're fucking each other. <laughs> In Japan, well, rejoices. It's automatic right there. What if uh, that Swerve's uh, Hawaiian shirt was made out of cloth? Yeah, pretty sure. Would you call it a doll? <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> I would. If you fucking dress it, it's a doll. I like messing with Bobby's uh, whole stance about <laughs> action figures versus dolls. Yeah, it's how it's how I it's how I fucking sell myself on not buying hot toys. If you accessorize it with guns, it's okay. But if you do it with clothes, <laughs> it's, it's a then doll. You're a fucking, it just looks uh, fabulous. Just, That's yeah, a real. If, if, uh, if, if, if you take I, fucking if you're taking Alfred's fucking suit pants off and putting him in some leisure wear. You have a doll. Dude, you know, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put you. Uh, I'll put it to you like this. I kind of lost any respect for hot toys in general when I saw. And you may have to edit this out. It's up to you, Justin. When I saw Sean Long combing yep. the, the <laughs> Black Widow's hair, and I was just like, "Yeah, we're done here. Those are not. Those are. Those are. Those are Barbie dolls for guys." No. <laughs> he said, I, I'm, "I'm out." I'm yeah, out. we are. Well, yeah. I guess that's not actually too bad. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel too. I've I've seen some hot toys reviews. Um, I couldn't tell you who they're by. Literally, but um. So I'm well, I just like, gotta say. So yes, I think that um, y'all give third parties a pass a lot more than uh, what y'all do with Hasbro. So that's it. Yeah, but but see, I think that like, I think that uh, a lot of times I I, I I see where you're coming from. I don't think I'm with know. Oscar, man. If you, sh- if you get a hundred dollar toy and you have to already start following shit, be I'm, I'm gonna be pissed. But like, I don't hey, want to do that shit. 
I think that I, I think that you're I think that you're right. I don't think that you're wrong. But I also think that like it I think that my soft spot is that at least they're fucking trying to make it what I want. Yeah. You know, where I, mean, I, I love third party. No, don't get me wrong. I love bro, third party. I, 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 I hear you. recognize game, bro. I, I'm not saying the shit they make sucks. Right. I'm saying the shit they make is awesome. I would not have bought the fans project set of the Stunicons. I'm sorry, right. Terminators. You know, if I didn't think they were fucking right. Right, right. But it, it, oh, I think they look good. But at the same mm-hmm. time, though, dude, it's like, hey, I just paid, I just sold so many of my figures to buy this one figure from your company. Figure. Why the devil am I going through hell and high water just to get it replaced when there's a piece broken off of it? I reference Hexatron, you know? Uh, I mean, to me, it, it kind of doesn't make sense. If you think that's all you need to do is just to file something down and you're straight, hey, that's fine, that's you. But if I'm seeing a lot of reviews and a lot of people are kind of hating on it, I'm not going to pick it up because I'll probably see the same faults rather than the, than, than the pros. So. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you on that. I, I don't think that you should spend seventy dollars and then have to edit and then have to, you know, well, who the hell is watching? That is there? Greg. Is that the opera? Um, that is so Greg. You know, I don't think that you should have to make. All That's not me. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you always culturing yourself. Are we doing that shit when we record? <laughs> I'm making. Hey, I'm making fucking hamburgers because I'm a fucking American. Speaking of culture, um, I don't think- asshole. I don't think you should have to make <laughs> to, to figures that are over fifty bucks. Yep, um, I, I agree with you there. Uh, but here's the thing: is that like at the same time, I'm dealing with the market that's available to me, and I'm a more I'm more appreciative of a figure that that's you know looks like pipes, but I had to make alterations to than I am of say I don't know the. Uh, this, you know, any number of, uh, I don't know, the Blitzwing. I understand. Yeah. You know, that, that I don't feel like, and, you know, Blitzwing's not even even the, the greatest example, but uh, I'm trying I, to think. I guarantee that you guys did more work here at Blitzwing than I did to my pipes. Like, I literally just... No, that, that's, that's, that's a granted. Like, we pro- I probably did. I'm sure of that. But we also spent a lot less money. We paid 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the kick in the head about it. How much you pay for you know pops? Oh, also. here here's the perfect example is Roadbuster. You know, Roadbuster does not look like what I want Roadbuster to look like. Right. Uh, yeah. Y- that's, you know, it's a shitty design. So like, although I am more apologetic of Pipes than I am of Roadbuster, Pipes looks more. I, I feel like Pipes was more of an effort made to give me what I want than what Roadbuster was. Mm-hmm. You mean Hasbro yeah. Buster yeah. or Yes, yes. No, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the immaculate fucking fans project one. <laughs> not, not not his new <laughs> child. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you Yeah, that's funny. Just yeah, I mean I get I get what you're saying, yeah. I mean it's third party does. I mean they give what the fans want and everything, but you know, just you know, you would, get a like, seventy five dollar like, toy. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I understand, yeah. And you know, I'm I'm I treat my masterpieces with a lot of care too, because like if oh, yeah. like if I'm spending over fifty bucks for your toy, like I am treating it with kid gloves to an extent. Like I, I look at it as a fucking you know, a hefty priced unit. Yeah. Oh yeah, well that was anything in life. You spend a lot of money on it, you you want the best. I mean yeah. Masterpiece Megatron, I mean I, I, I almost give out like, you know, like surgery tools. Does anybody have a masterpiece <laughs> Megatron that did not have rusty feet? No, it's a process called oxidation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, damn. Actually, damn. Damn. Yeah, that's right. Some, Fuck. That's some shit right there for you. Justin. Justin. Yes, yeah, sir. You're a move, not chimed in on this. No, I've been letting you guys go through all the uh, discussion. I didn't want to get interrupted. Uh, basically, yeah, I think... I think <laughs> you guys watch my YouTube video of uh, Toy Hano. I'm number one. I'm sorry, Justin. Go ahead. Interrupted. Interrupted. Sorry. Yeah. So, so I think that it just boils down to a lot of, you know, there are going to be apologetic people for especially things that you're going to pay a lot of money for because everybody wants to feel that their money was well spent, you know? Nobody wants to spend, like, for instance, I'm going to use MP10 as an example. He's a fantastic toy. But let's just say I bought the Japanese one and it cost me 260 or whatever, and he sucked, you know? Let's just let's just say, let's pretend that's the, the scenario. I'm probably still going to look at it and be like, well, I like this and I like that and try to justify it. It's a denial, you know, like there's, there's 
steps that you go through in kind of determining if you actually truly like it. Uh, one of my first video reviews was an RC, and you can kind of see that. I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty good. And then, like, you know, a year later, once that, that, that pain of spending $70 on a piece of crap is gone, you know, I'm like, no, I hated that thing, you know? Like, I never liked it. <laughs> I'm going to go on record so, for anyone listening and say it was Impossible Toys RC, just to give people... Impossible story. Toys, yeah. I have no problems with that. Um, yeah, so I think, like, it's, that that's going to be out there, and I think that happens with, I mean, it happens with Hasbro as much as it does with anything else, but it's kind of easier to, you know, find the faults in your $20 toy and not feel bad about it, because you're like, whatever, 20 bucks, you know, or 10 bucks, you know, it, it, it didn't, it didn't live up to my expectations, whereas your, your more expensive stuff, you know, it's yeah. harder to justify that feeling sure. within yourself. But, you know, kind of on the other hand, like like you were saying, Bobby, it also comes back to I'm willing to look past certain things that maybe I don't like about third-party stuff, you know, like, uh, let's go let's go back to Motormaster here. Like, you know, he is pretty complex. I don't think he's that hard, but he's complex, and things could easily break if you're not careful. But it's the Motormaster I want, you know, like, it, it's... Right. It's that, like, oh, I can't see something better than this. Now, if Has Hasbro comes out and goes, hey, we're making a Menasaur, and it blows this one out of the water, then by all means, I'm going to turn around and be like, yeah, well, you know, I didn't really like this, I didn't like that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the truth comes out, like, yeah, this right. shit. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I mean, and that's that's how I felt today. I mean, I, uh, I reviewed the fucking Make Toys set today, and I, I when I... When I put, I had to do it. You know, you you, you have to do it. But when I put my eye gear swerve next to this fucking make toy swerve, oh, I yeah. was like, oh my god, this thing is a fucking nightmare. The eye gear one's just a fatty. <laughs> That's all it is. And we've lost Greg again. What the fuck is going on with Greg? It's that um, burger, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I get. No, I love. I, I'm sorry. I get that. I you can keep set. this if you want, Justin. But I picture like our boy Greg sitting there cooking his burger <laughs> with a with like the foam prop on his shoulder and a, and a cup of scotch in the other hand while he's flipping it, and he's just going, "It's gonna be some good ass shit right here." <laughs> Oh, it's, it's staying in. Don't worry, it's staying in. Fine. I'm sorry. I love you, Greg. Uh, I'm gonna so, go get it back on. I understand. I mean, I would, I want to get the set now since you did it. I mean, I would not get the item stuff. Okay, that no, don't. Horrendous. Don't. But them two that you did, I mean, I, I, I make it the set. It looks really nice. Excuse me. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt with that. Oh, no, it, sorry. Scotch thing was awesome. Because we really need Greg for the listener question, so I'll just try to fill the void with nonsense until that happens. But um, <laughs> let me let me let me uh bounce back to your Make Toys uh review. I think it's a good review there. Cool. I just still can't get into wanting them because I'm not interested in the Cybertronian modes. So this I would be like you. the type of thing that like I would get these and I have really nice things to say about the you know the robot mode, and then I'd transform it into the vehicles and be like I I don't know what these are, and you know like I, I yeah. it's hard. As a reviewer, I guess it's kind of hard to, you know, not let your own Biases. feelings influence how you're going to review something. Well, but I uh, wish that uh, you could have got them separately because I would have passed on Gears. I, I don't need that Gears. You, you know, know I, I you, you are among many of my friends who are saying that, like, uh, I know a couple people who are talking about, like, well, I wish I... I, I I wish I could just get Swerve because I like him with his accessories, and if that was the case, I probably would get that, because, you know, that's a cool representation. If I never get the Hasbro version, that's fine. But, you know. Yeah, the thing is, is, um, and, and you know, I don't, I don't want the, I don't really want the, oh, thank God, Greg's back. I don't, I don't want the, uh, I don't want the fucking Legends gears either. You know, I want a gears that's about the size of, of uh, X Transpot's Huffer. You know, like the masterpiece kind of gears. Um, I, I like my gears to be a little bit more imposing physically, just because of his, you know, his nature on the show. But, um, but, but Swerve is like, I mean, he looks, he looks awesome next to my fucking, you know, deluxe scoop, and he looks awesome next to MP10. You know, he. Feels hey, are you guys getting feedback? No, you sound you sound a little strange. You sound a little sound like bit you're like crossing, you're talking across around. the room. That's fine. Well, Greg, we need you. Echo. We need you for this uh, listener question. I'm here. Um, I'm sorry, my phone died. I'm here. 
Okay, so here's the the question is advice on selling off your collection. Um, as you be, being the major wheeler and dealer on all the various interwebs um, in the I toy game. I control the interwebs. <laughs> uh, I'm making spider fingers right now. Why don't you uh, take the reins? Well, um, can you hear me all right, or do I need to pick it up? It, you should probably pick it up. Well, I'm... Hold on. Jesus. <laughs> God damn it, I'm making... Did you drop your scotch? Hey, Cynthia Burgers, Trump podcast every time. Um, I think he spilt his scotch. I love scotch. We scotch, 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 scotch. Scotch, <laughs> scotch, 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 scotch. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. Right. I'm just saying. Um, anyway, uh, the big thing about selling your figures is, uh, well... Not dealing with cocksuckers, <clears throat> first of all. Um, you need to know uh, what kind of offers to accept. You're going to get offers from fucking dickheads that are like, oh, shit, I could buy this guy's stuff and sell it for fucking, like, triple. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's hit or miss. And the guy that asked the question... Um, I've seen his listing, and I, I think it's uh well he he gave us his name right so we can say it James. I would Kane. say the first first name, you know. Well, the last. well, whatever. J- okay, James uh, James Spain. Um, <laughs> well, he's selling his entire masterpiece collection. I think the majority of them were Takara, and he was asking what seventeen, and he's like, "Well, I spent twenty six. And it's like, well, you're only selling us a lot, and I think that was kind of a a lazy move on his part. Um, yeah, I agree. But in general, in general, in general, in general, in general, um, it, you have a bunch of stuff together that you 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 feel. It's like if if I spent seven years putting together my fucking. I don't know, animated collection together. And I felt that was important. And I was like, I'm always selling my animated as a lot because uh, I put a whole lot of shit into it. Most people don't feel that way. Most people want one toy or the other toy. Right. Yep. So you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot there. And then when you say a set price, like you should always set your price higher than what you want to get. It's just like a job interview. Like, don't say I want twelve bucks an hour, like when that's what you want. And the guy's like, "How about eleven fifty? Like, no, you tell him you want fifteen dollars an hour. And then the guy's like, "Well, how about thirteen fifty?" Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny because I, I feel for the guy because um, I have I have some 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 larger collections that I like to get rid of too, and I try to sell them in a lot because the thing is, you want that big, you want the big money, and you want exactly, the, and you want the figures off your hands. You know, and and that's and that's a that's a win win situation for for the seller, um, but it doesn't always work out great for the buyer. And, and it doesn't work out well when you're you're posting in a group, and you've got like fifty people. And I'll be I'll be personal with the guy now. You've got like fifty people. Like I want this, I want that, I want that, I want this. He's like, no, I'm selling as a group. Yeah, it's like, probably. You would probably make more money, right? Right, breaking you would it up. Take individuals. It just, it just takes a little bit more legwork, you know. That's 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 the. I think that's what most people need to to realize when they when they when they go to sell a collection that the the real money is made in selling them off as you can and just making all yeah. those trips to the post office. Yep. Yeah, yeah definitely, and. I, and I don't think, like, if you're going to sell it as a big lot, expect to take, you know, a loss on what yeah. they're actually worth. And don't be surprised if the person you're selling them to puts them up individually and sells them off and makes money off of what they just spent on you. So. Yep. Yep. Well, and exactly. And it's like, you're like, I spent this much money, I want this much money back. And it's like, well, I mean, you have to take into account, like, if it's something like, uh, what was that acid storm? I mean, you can still find the thing for fucking you know seventy bucks. So don't factor that into your pricing. Yeah, you and, and plus realize that you know you're selling in bulk, and you know exactly. when you go when you go to buy a big tub of fucking ketchup from Costco, 
you expect to get it a little cheaper than yeah, buying how much uh, than buying the single BK unit from, paid. Yeah. from Food Lion. So when you when you sell in bulk, you know everybody. Like I said, everybody wants that big that big that big payday and be able to offload the figures. But you're selling in bulk, so people are expecting actually a better deal. So you should be expecting a smaller payday, and the and the advantage is getting getting them out out of your house and off your hands. Hey, hey Bobby, yeah, do you have Food Lion where you live? Um, well, I do. I, we actually we have a plethora of uh, different grocery options. I used to work at Food Lion. I thought oh, that shit. was just a uh, yeah. I thought it was a sudden thing. That was one of my first jobs. No, we got Food Lion, Giant, We Is, which is called Weiss, but we call it We Is. I miss <laughs> Shoprite. Uh, we don't have one of those. We have, we have yeah. Value Food, yeah. Harris Teeter, Wegmans. Wegmans is Where's shit. Harris Teeter is my shit. Wegmans. Anyway, so, sorry. Do y'all remember that episode with the, on the uh, Pawn something? Uh, with the guy trying to sell his Transform collection? Yep. Pawn Star. Uh, that's, yeah, that's a prime example right there. You know, he's, he I'll thought, give you know, you I said, I give, you know he's like, I want $25,000 something like that for it. And they're like, well, we're going to give you twelve. Because, you know, how long is it going to take us to individually, you know, price these out, you know, actually take inventory on them and everything? Yeah, yeah. So, like you said, it, that's, that's a prime example of, you know, yeah, I've spent so much so much time on this, you know, and everything to get this this way. But you've got to kind of, you know, say, well, you know, a lot of people don't want to buy all this stuff at once. And most yeah. people don't care about your story. I mean. Yeah, yeah they don't care. Yeah, yeah, because... The, Every collector has has the story to their hunt, and you know that one piece they had to track down. But oh, yeah. you know, but now now you're 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 trying to unload them, so you just kind of got to either a break them up and do the legwork, or b get rid of them as quickly as you can and take a loss. Perfect. Yeah, and, and oh, sorry. Go on. I just sold Come my uh, a bunch of my primes off, and guess what went first? All my. Um, Original first editions. Yeah. Right. So. People want that. I'm stuck with Wheeljack and um, Dead End and. Yeah, but buyers yeah. don't have to be such assholes either and try to lowball people and everything too. The yeah, that's, your, well, that's your problem there is is you have your lowballers. Like, like me and Greg, when we first started, you know, being friends and fucking, um, <laughs> we, we both agreed that, you know, um, we both agree that we both had this pet peeve where it's like we hate it when people don't list a price. They say, pitch me an offer. Because I'm just going to be a dick and lowball you because obviously you're arrogant enough to think that everyone's going to sit there and be like, you have a very fair collection here. Here's a fair offer. You know? And like this guy was selling uh, those Energon um, hotshot molds. Like there was a movie one called Breakaway or Getaway, whatever. And I figured, well, I never owned him. He'd be nice. So, okay, dude, I'll give you like 12 bucks shit for him. He replied back in the PM going, well, that's a pretty shitty offer. I'm turning it down. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but I'm going to lose sleep over it. Right, right, right. You know, but, like, at the same time, I really? don't give a you shit, dude. That was that? Yeah, $12 shit for that ugly-ass figure. figure? For, no, for, for a first good. movie it's, figure, it's, which were a bunch it's of... It's a Cybertron. Uh, it's a Cybertron yeah. repaint. Yeah, so he there thought was I was out of line by, by offering him that much. What do you, what do you, what do you expect guy, from it? There's a guy, his name is uh, Darius uh, Walford. Um, I'll say Darius Walford. Okay, so it's not twice. He knows who he is. Twice. <laughs> um, no, that's not his real name. Right. But he knows who the fuck I'm talking about. He had a Nexus Prime. It was a collector's cup figure. I saw it and saw a fucking train wreck. <laughs> and he's like taking offers. And I was like, dude, I'll give you like 30 bucks for it just because it's a combiner. Don't you know what this is? <laughs> don't you know? You are ignorant that you don't know what this goes for. And I'm like, I remember that shit. That was funny. Ship. And then he was like, I want this amount of money. So I just posted it in the cafe. How dare you post my price? And I'm like, well, one of us had to be honest. <laughs> like, <laughs> so look, you know, I'm sympathetic to the guy, and um, you know, I, I you know, we, we we definitely appreciate the question. And it's a good and it's a good topic because you know we, we're all collectors. We've all bought shit, sold especially shit, some of us now shit. are selling stuff. We're trying to sell stuff. Anyway. Yep. And uh, uh-huh. so we're we're just uh, you know we're not trying to break your balls or anything, buddy. We're just you know this is this is you know our experiences. And um, and up, Buttercup. And yeah, it's it's either you know it's either you gotta you gotta suck it up and do the legwork and run to the post office a million times to get every nickel you want, 
uh, or sell them at sell them at a bulk and take a loss. And uh, I, you know, I just one, I'm actually busting his balls personally. Um, James, I'm I'm coming for you. Yeah, hey. uh, with my scotch and burger, mother. I want <laughs> scotch and my burger. Oh fuck you, will you motherfucker? Well, I want that shit for five dollar. No, <laughs> you gonna say Justin? I just want to throw one more thing out there with the whole idea of selling the collection versus selling individuals. Anybody buying the collection is going to look at it and think this person either needs A, quick money to turn it around now, yeah. or B, yeah. you know, just to get it out for space. So you're kind of, when you're selling it as a collection, you are already showing, like, some kind of, like, you know, you need this right. to be gone for some reason. Yeah, so yeah. that's going to attract the low-ball offers and stuff. So The other it's, thing, I mean, the fact that people thinking, oh, I can buy this for $800 and turn around and flip it for $3,000. Yeah. Exactly. And the other thing to, to take into account is uh, you can hit up stores like uh, BBTS and uh, I think TF Source even sell, even buys collections. They don't buy Not single. Anymore. They don't buy them anymore. Are you sure? I don't yeah, think they buy, they buy anymore. Uh, TF Source does. The only okay. buy. Them Maybe they yeah. still stop. Yeah, they stop buying the collections. TF Source okay. only buys on Thursdays. Okay, well, whatever. So you can hit up these these different, you know. Oh, right. uh, Trans Farmers Land too. You can, you can go in there and tell yeah, you. There, there, there's, there's another one. Yep, it's going to get Anyway, so, so, there's yeah, another you, site I know, eBay. That works too. So you can go to these these <laughs> these, these, big, these these big places that buy up collections, and you know the, whatever price that they quote you for your collection, you can imagine that they're going to try to sell it for fifty percent more, right. um, yep. or you know fifty percent tacked onto it. So that can give you a rough idea of you know what. People that are professionally "quote unquote" in the industry value your collection at. Right. So yeah. that's that's our advice to you. So that pretty much concludes this week's show. Um, you can check for us on YouTube. Subscribe, like, comment, all that shit. Uh, Podomatic, yeah. iTunes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we T two R X six, great for mercy. Myself and uh, Oscar and Jay Boy on YouTube. Um, you you can check for uh, Antoine and all the groups. Uh, Posting uh, all the new and latest news, and uh, my buddy Deluxe, uh, you can check for him on the boards as well, and uh, he's pretty much on top of his shit as well. So, uh, we will be back next week with another installment. Uh, As my buddy Oscar would say, be good to yourselves and each other, and uh, see you around.